Today we're going to be looking at how to build our very own Tiny Whoop. The only difference is ours is going to cost less than $50 US and can be flown with a Tyrannus. We're going to be using the Esheen EF02 camera. This is a very lightweight camera and it suits the E010 very well. In fact, you can get this as a combo in the E010C. And I've provided a link to both the standalone individual kit package that we're building here as well as the E010C. Here you can see just how lightweight this camera is, coming in at just 3.3 grams. The cabling before I've trimmed it down, it just adds another 0.2 grams. The chassis of the E010 weighs in at 15.7 grams, with the cowling at 16.6 grams. Here you can see how the adapter will easily connect to your camera. It's always a good idea to test your camera before you go through mounting it to the quad. Here you can see I'm just sizing up some foam sticky back. Go ahead and trim this roughly to the size of the bottom of your camera. I had experimented with 3D printed mounts, but in the end I found the E010C's approach with the sticky back was the best way to go for me. Here you can see I've got it sized to fit. And once mounted to the bottom of the camera, we're just going to want to seat this directly in the middle of the quad. I found that it fits very well right here in this central area. Kind of move the antenna a little bit out of the way should you need to adjust it later on. Getting it right in the center, that looks about right. Go ahead, press it down, shore it up. Make sure the antenna is able to move should it need to, and there it is. Next, we're going to go ahead and trim the power cables to length. Here I am just lining it up, roughly tucking it out of the way, figuring out exactly how much space I'm going to need. With these little quads, every gram counts. So you're going to want to use just enough cable to get the job done without using anything extra. That looks about right. I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the edge with a pair of scissors. Now I've started stripping away just the tip of the cable. I'm going to do that for both the positive and the ground. And here I am tinning the wires. This is always an important step to tin the wires. It's going to ensure that you get a much better connection and it's going to be a lot easier to solder the tinned wires to the flight controller than it would be if you just tried to solder without tinning first. Take careful attention to make sure that you're soldering positive to positive. If you're in doubt, you can actually see which way the battery mounts in in the plug below. My board had a red line on the positive side, as you can see here. Now with both positive and ground soldered in, the hard part of this build is pretty much done. That's what it should look like. I did find that the camera, once the rubber band was put on, was kind of forced to go to the downward angle. So I did just prepare an extra piece of sticky back foam, put it out of the front of the lens, and that was just enough to keep it always either neutral or upright. Take your loom band, stretch it across the top of the camera. You'll probably notice it'll pull the camera to one side. You can easily just retension the loom band like I'm doing here, and that's going to allow you to get that camera perfectly level. And there she is. The new Tiny Whoop comes in at just 19.3 grams. The battery comes in at 4.7 grams. And all together, all of flying weight is 24.1 grams. To get it to fly with the Tyrannus, we're going to want to use our multi-protocol module. 
This module is going to allow you to fly the E010 with your Tyrannus. Here's what it looks like inserted into the module bay of the Tyrannus. I've linked the setup instructions for the module in the description below. It's a very simple process and really just requires you set up your Tyrannus to work in the EATR channel mapping. You will not need to repeat this procedure unless you have changed the configuration of the multi-protocol module to one of the other supported types. Here's a look at how to set this up with the Tyrannus. Simply plug the battery in first, put it into binding mode, hold down the transmitter sticks as you've shown, while powering on the Tyrannus, you'll notice after a few seconds the flashing light will become solid and you have control. Here's a quick in-flight video Flying FPV indoors. Nothing fancy here, but as you can see, I was easily able to navigate the E010 Tiny Whoop through very close quarters. Here I am going upstairs and down a tight hallway, flying this for the first time. Although I normally fly my quads in full acro, flying the tiny size quad indoors with full auto felt very natural and it didn't bother me in the slightest. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy making a Tiny Whoop of your own.